Okay, uh, this is a 6040 solar oven, as it's called. I got it uh, from the website Solar Cooking. Uh, it's a Yahoo group. Just joined it recently. Um, that's the removable door on the side. Where you can put the food in and take it out. Um, it's basically made out of plywood. A bit of insulation, some tin foil, some aluminum tape, uh, some hardboard some mylar reflective sheeting, a couple of pieces of glass and that's pretty much it. Um, about a hundred dollars invested into material. Took probably almost two weeks to build just because I was trying to do it right and I have found a few little flaws like the fogging glass thing. I did do a double glaze. Good idea because it keeps the temperatures up, but bad idea. I think I need a little more spacing and a bit more breathing space between the two layers of glass, so I'm going to probably modify this design. Um, other than that, it seems to work really well. It has peaked at 360 Fahrenheit or about 170 Celsius, which is pretty good considering the air temperature is just slightly above freezing uh, today. So, and just to prove, I'm just going to show you this. There's quite a bit of snow yet. Uh, it's February the 24th, by the way, and it's doing not bad, um, but it does need a few improvements, so anyway, we'll just keep going from here. Okay, this is the solar oven. It is just after 12 o'clock on February 24th. It's southern Ontario, Canada, and current temperature in the shade so let me walk over here got to go in behind don't know whether you can see this but it's about 40 Fahrenheit which is just about 5 Celsius and I've had a whole chicken with a couple of stalks of celery and an onion and a couple of carrots for flavor in the solar oven since about 9 a.m. this morning it's been holding pretty well at about 350 to 360, but for some reason the glass is fogged over. And it's still holding about 340 Fahrenheit, or pretty close to about 165, 170 Celsius. Um, it is a windy day. It's probably a uh, 15 kilometer wind. Uh, that would be about 8 miles an hour and it gusts occasionally to about 20 or about uh, maybe 10 or 11 miles an hour. So it hasn't been a, a stellar day for uh, wind or whatever. I'm not sure why the glass is fogging in and I'm not sure if you can see it or not but there's steam escaping from around the door. Um, but it's still performing very well considering the glass is fogged in, the outside temperature and the air. Uh, to maintain 340 is pretty good for February the 24th. Uh, no complaints with that. There's my windmill up there spinning. Yeah, very bright day as far as sun goes. And anyway, it's a roast chicken as I said. It weighs about uh, I think 2.8 kilo or about 6 pounds. I'll uh, make sure I take a picture of the uh, the chicken when it comes out of the oven later today. So I'm going to leave it all day. Supposedly it's not supposed to burn. I didn't put any water in. Uh, one small onion, one medium carrot, and one large stalk of celery, uh, salt, pepper, and a little bit of thyme, and parsley. So we'll see where it goes um, in a few hours from now. That's all. I know it's difficult to see because of the sun reflecting. I'm going to try to walk around. I don't know if you can see that temperature gauge or not because of the brightness of the sun and the reflection off the reflector panels is very difficult but trust me it's sitting at 340 has been for a couple of hours now so uh, anyway just to give you a slightly different view from the I got it sitting on my green cart it seemed to be a good thing to do it's got wheels uh, able to move it fairly easily anyway uh, more pictures later Sunny, yes, and windy, yes. It's 
still holding at yeah, about 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad. Okay, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it's still very close to 350 Fahrenheit. 345, solidly 170 Fahrenheit, or 170 Celsius. So, like I said, really hard to see because of the glare, but that's what it is. And yes, there's still a fair bit of wind, as you can hear, probably. And That's my little windmill spinning up there. So... All things considered, not too bad. Still just above freezing temperature. More to come. Okay, it's about 3.55 now. It's actually a bit later than 1.30. Steam is coming out of this corner, which means the glass is leaking like a sieve, which is probably okay. Because that means it's probably going to clear. As you can see that top left corner there, you see the steam coming out. That's uh, chicken's been on since, what, about nine. It should be good and tender. Apparently you can't burn anything in a solar box oven, but I'm going for the record here. Anyway, yeah, it's still windy. There's the windmill still spinning. Beautiful sunny day otherwise. More to come. Okay, there's a design flaw that suddenly reared its ugly little head. The insulation that I'm using is deteriorating very quickly so that stuff's not an option if you're thinking of using that pink uh, extruded foam insulation think again it does not withstand the heat at 350 it starts to buckle and tears away as you can see clearly in that corner I think that's probably one of the reasons why we're getting a lot of steam leaking but you know at 355 degrees Fahrenheit when it's just above freezing outside, um, the oven design certainly works because it would probably easily hit over 400 in a warm summer day. But the pink insulation, no, that's not going to do it. We're going to have to switch to something else.